how you doing? This is Rich from Rich TV Live. And remember, Rich Picks Daily is an online community designed for traders to exchange smart, straightforward, and profitable investment ideas. Join us today at richpicksdaily.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and learn useful stock trading secrets and discover the next 10 bagger. So this is the big news that came from right here. Tulane University receives award to demonstrate electric shuttle buses for the New Orleans region. This is right from Tulane University. Big, big, big news. And buses actually had a really big week. This is the U.S. side. You can see the stock's gone from $1.77 to $6.35. Obviously, they did have a reverse that helped that. But nonetheless, they are climbing up. This is BUS XD in America. And in Canada, the symbol is VMC, the Vicinity Motor Corp. This is the new symbol for bus in Canada. And you can see that after the reverse, they opened up at 727 and they kept climbing all the way up to $8. So this is extremely bullish. This is clearly climbing up. So the trend is up. Very, very strong trend line. And this news here from Tulane University is pretty big. Let's get into it. So Tulane University had several local partners have been awarded funding by the U.S. Department of Energy Office of Energy Efficiency and Renewable Energy for initiative to use shuttle buses powered by electricity. The new buses will be part of the university's fleet in 2022. So they have chosen the Vicinity Lightning EV buses, a Tulane, Tulane University initiative to use shuttle buses powered by electricity has been awarded 735,500 by the US Department of Energy Office Energy Efficiency and Renewable Energy EERE -E. big 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 news the project is one of 55 selected research and demonstration projects that will further new and innovative advanced vehicle technologies with assistance from the EERE's vehicle technologies office Tulane will purchase five buses, there we go, five Grand West vicinity transit buses with electric vehicle technology and install five private charging stations to support them. There it is. And yeah, you can't just get the electric vehicles, you need to get some charging stations. They're doing both. The shuttle buses will service the regular university shuttle routes that link Tulane's uptown and downtown campuses and affiliate programs during the three-year project. Tulane staff will collect and analyze data on the operating performance and costs of the EV shuttle buses with the goal of sharing Tulane's experience with fleet managers in the New Orleans region and at other universities. Wow, this could be so big. Choose your bus. What kind of bus do you want? Got all these different kinds. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. The project team will test expectations that the EV shuttle buses are less expensive to operate and maintain. The vehicles use EV technology that is widely used in full-size buses, but has only recently become available in a smaller transit model. Working with our bus provider, Alliance Bus Group, we had identified the vicinity electric shuttle bus as the most promising model for our next purchase, said Brian Lowe, director of two-lane transportation and parking. The DOE funding gives us support to move forward now. So very, very big news. What do you guys think of this news? Remember, Rich TV Live is strictly for education and entertainment purposes. Always do the due diligence. Always do the research before you invest in anything that we talk about here on Rich TV Live. And if you'd like to join our trading club, you can go to richpicksdaily.com and you too can join the club. This is an exciting opportunity for Tulane as we work to reduce the greenhouse gas emissions that result from university operations. Patrick Norton, Tulane Senior Vice President and Chief Operating Officer. The project is a collaboration between Tulane University Campus Services and the Tulane Bywater Institute, which advances applied interdisciplinary research and community engagement initiatives around coastal resilience and the urban environment and local partners, Alliance Bus Group, Enter Energy and the South East Louisiana Clean Fuel Partnership, the Southeast Louisiana Clean Fuel Partnership administered by the New Orleans Regional Planning Commission works with vehicle fleets, fuels providers, community leaders, and other stakeholders 
to save energy and promote the use of domestic alternative fuels and advanced vehicle technologies in transportation. So once again, you can see the stock's been going up, responding well to this type of news. This news did come out yesterday and we are just breaking it now. If you like the video, please smash the like button, comment down below, share the video everywhere and subscribe. What do you think of Vicinity Motor Corp? I love the fact that after this reverse, this is one of the tightest float stocks that we look at every day. We love tight float stocks. And this is not only a company that's growing in revenue, growing in popularity, growing in the fact that it's making a difference in the community, in the climate, in our environment. This is a company that's got a tight share structure, so super tight float, and we love tight floats. This is a very exciting opportunity for Tulane as we work to reduce the greenhouse gas emissions that result from university operations, said Patrick Norton, Tulane Senior Vice President and Chief Operating Officer. Tulane shuttles are highly visible in the greater New Orleans area and our ridership averages over 160,000 annually. We are confident that the impact of this project will extend beyond the boundaries of our physical campuses by sharing our operational, financial, and environmental impact, which this is huge. Like I said to you guys, this is also an environmental impact, okay? This is a very big environmental impact here, and our environment is everything, right? That's what we breathe. It's where we live. Our environment is everything, and companies that are focused on protecting the environment are companies that are becoming hugely successful. We are confident that the impact of this project will extend beyond the boundaries of our physical campuses by sharing our operational, financial, environmental impact experiences and, date and data, we hope to serve as a blueprint for other institutions in our region. Moving to electric vehicles is a solution that addresses both the local health impact of air pollution, which I just said, and the global impacts of climate change, which I just told you is extremely important. And look at all their suppliers. Look at all the suppliers. I mean, literally huge, huge, huge partnerships. And this is just the beginning for Grand West Transportation. Now vicinity bus used to be bus. Now it's VMC. So I want to make sure everyone's aware of the changes that are happening and why. Okay, look at all these partnerships. Pretty, pretty unbelievable. In the short term, using EV shuttle buses will eliminate pollutants in the exhaust of diesel fuel, which, which contribute to air pollution that has local health impacts, such as lung and heart damage, said Liz Davy, director of Tulane's Office of Sustainability. Davy and Shile Muel, assistant director of Bywater Institute, are the project's principal investigators in the longer term, especially as electric generation moves to more clean and renewable sources, the use of electric vehicles will also reduce our carbon footprint. This is their contact information. Part of a clean energy future for New Orleans includes the electrification of transportation, said Seth Currington, Entergy New Orleans Economic Development and Technology Innovation Director. Tulane's University Shuttle Bus Project is an example of how Entergy New Orleans can partner with organizations and businesses in support of their sustainability goals. Always ahead of the curve, Tulane was one of the first universities in the region to install EV charging stations on campus for students. Love it. Absolutely love it. And you're going to see more and more universities, businesses, institutions starting to do the same thing. Very, very cool. They did it for students, faculty, and staff. They installed charging stations, electric vehicle charging stations, said Courtney Young, director of the Southeast Louisiana Clean Fuel Partnership. Similarly, the electric shuttle bus project is the first of its kind in our area, so we're looking forward to understanding and showcasing results to comparable fleets as a potential recoverable solution to replace the older model, highly polluting diesel shuttles in our communities. 
That's the news from Tulane University. What do you think of this news? Pretty big news. And it seems as though BUS is getting well-known and recognized all over the United States and Canada. And hopefully, eventually, who knows, maybe all over the world. This is the big news. Tulane University receives award to demonstrate electric shuttle buses for New Orleans region. And they choose Vicinity Motors Corp, VMC in Canada and BUSXD in America. The Vicinity Motors Corp trending up. If you like the video, please smash the like button, comment down below, share the video everywhere, and subscribe if you're alive. If you're not winning, you're not watching. We bring in the winners and we bring them to you first. We told you guys that Vicinity Motors Corp was our number one electric vehicle play for 2021, and we weren't kidding, and they're just getting started. This is your boy Rich from Rich to be Live, and I'm out. Peace. Yeah, you guys want to learn how to trade? You can join the club. Go to richpicksdaily.com and join. This is your boy Rich, Vicinity Motors Corp. Happy Easter, everybody. Have a great weekend. Enjoy.